So we've been in D.C. briefing members of Congress and the Senate precisely about what's happening on the border and the policies that are in place that are causing this crisis at our border. What have you seen in El Paso and the RGV? So what we've seen for months is, unfortunately, that the situation at the Clint facility that was recently uncovered is just the tip of the iceberg and illustrates a longstanding practice by Border Patrol to treat all of those in its custody in inhumane ways under a a failed idea of deterrence through cruelty. We've interviewed countless families who have been held in these conditions, including families with small children being held outdoors for days in the Texas heat. Uh, forced to sleep in the dirt and gravel. We've talked to uh, families who have made desperate pleas to officials while in their custody for medical care for their children. Um, And so we filed complaints with the Office of Inspector General, um, who has subsequently released a report regarding conditions that they observed there that they say are disgusting. Now, this isn't new, sadly. The Border Patrol has had this prevention through deterrence strategy since 1994 important to remember that Customs and Border Protection, CBP, which Border Patrol is a part of, has been operating in the shadows, doesn't have proper oversight, and there is no accountability. And um, in during this administration, they've been emboldened, and a lot of these policies like Remain in Mexico or even uh, family separation started as a pilot program that nobody knew about until the news broke out, until advocates started to find out through clients or attorneys through their clients. Could you talk about more about Remain in Mexico and metering, Shaw? Absolutely. The metering policy is something that this Trump administration has taken up from the Obama administration and expanded exponentially in conjunction with their zero tolerance policy. Uh, Anyone arriving to our ports of entry seeking asylum are told that they have to wait in Mexico on very long lists for many months uh, in extremely dangerous circumstances. Uh, And I've interviewed countless families uh, suffering under these metering lists, including one uh, just last year who was turned away and kidnapped by organized crime just days later. Yeah, we need to find ways of giving asylum to people from Central America in a humane way, in an orderly way um, at our border, and making sure that border communities are not paying the price of this you know, border rhetoric that we continue to hear of the borders out of control. Uh, yes, yeah, absolutely. And, and we'll continue to put up that fight every day and continue to push the need for accountability um, over the, the nation's largest law enforcement agency that is causing uh, so much harm and destruction to our civil rights and civil liberties across the border.